Ah, greetings and salutations all. Um, today I'm going to try and make something a little more, a fair bit different. I'm going to try and um, recreate the KFC that you buy from the famous takeaway shop. So, yeah, this sort of started. I was watching YouTube the other day and was watching some cooking videos. And anyway, as you know, YouTube it's like a rabbit hole. Sometimes you end up watching things and end up watching a few videos. People were trying to. Um, make home versions of KSC from some leaked recipe that ended up in the internet. So um, yeah, it looked like they were having fun, so I thought I'd give it a try. So this is a recipe from, uh, it was the Chicago Tribune that originally leaked it and supposedly it was uh, found, it was Colonel Sanders' nephew's wife, she had it, and they got hold of it. Uh, anyway. That's, I'll, I'll put a link to that article um, down below in the description. Um, let's let's get on with it. So here's our ingredients. Look, I've got all our um, herbs and spices here. I'll go through those individually when we're um, mixing that with the flour. So of course we've got some chicken, and I'm just going to use chicken drumsticks. Uh, got some canola oil for frying. We need some plain flour. Uh, I've got a one egg there, some buttermilk up the back there, and that's it. Like I say, I'll go through all those um, herbs and spices with you when I'm mixing them in the flour, and I'll get back to you at the next stage. All right, this is going to be fun. I'll, I'm going to taste it at the end, and um, I, I've never made this before, so uh, see how we go. But I'm going to taste it at the end and see if it stacks up with the uh, KFC original recipe. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, um, yeah, just in the interest of moving this along a bit, I've, um, I'll just tell you what I've done, I've put in a cup of buttermilk, I've put in one egg, I've whisked that up, and I've thrown my chicken drummies in there, and I'm just going to let them sit in there for about half an hour, um, I'll cover it, but um, I'm going to leave it sitting at room temperature, and in the meantime, I'll leave we might do our flour mixture so anyway that's where we're up to with that and as I say I'm just going to cover it and leave it Yucky, um, just while that uh, chickens marinating in the buttermilk and egg mixture I just thought I might as well um, mix up our flour and um, 11 secret herbs and spices mixture although not so secret apparently well like I did some uh, extensive research into this it took about 20 seconds to find that um, Google that Chicago Tribune recipe but anyway it could all be crap but like I say I'm gonna give it a go and see what it tastes like so into I've got two cups of plain flour here I'm gonna add um, two-thirds cup of salt ground salt uh, sorry not a cup uh, two-thirds of a tablespoon of salt and I've got half a tablespoon of dry thyme uh, half a these are all tablespoons, so half um, dry basil, third dry oregano, uh, one full tablespoon of celery salt, work that in, and what's next is the black pepper, so we've got one tablespoon of black pepper, in it goes. Um, one tablespoon of dry mustard and now we've got four four tablespoons of paprika so that's in and what are we up to uh, two two tablespoons of garlic salt whack it in uh, one of ginger one tablespoon of ginger dry ginger of course and Three, I know we already put black pepper in it, but we've got three tablespoons, quite a lot, of white pepper. And that makes 11 secret herbs and spices. Now I'm going to add number 12 here, because I firmly believe Kentucky Fried Chicken has monosodium glutamate in it. And I'm pretty sure they've even admitted that, that it does. So I'm going to add some of that too. Um, I know there's a lot of hoo-ha about MSG, but... 
as far as I'm concerned it's flavour, let's add it if it's flavour and I'm not quite sure how much to add so I've just gone a bit easy on it, just a couple of teaspoons of that and now we just have to thoroughly mix that into our flour mixture. Okay that's all thoroughly mixed up now so um, still just got to wait for the chicken to finish marinating so um, I'll get back to you at that stage. As I said I'll put a link down below in the comments uh, on this dish to that Chicago Tribune article. Um, look while you're down there can I just ask again that you uh, consider subscribing to the channel or giving it a like or leaving some comments positive, negative, suggestions, just anything at all, just some interaction, um, that would be really appreciated. <laughs> but don't worry, if you don't, don't want to, don't either. Um, Alright, I'll turn this off and get back to you when the chicken is ready to be cooked. Alrighty, um, so I'm back again. Look, I said I was going to get back to you when I was going to start cooking, but there is actually another step before that. I was getting ahead of myself. So yeah, my chicken's been in that buttermilk for an egg for a while now. So obviously the next step is just to coat it up now in our uh, coating. So I'll just get it in there. And just, you obviously want to really coat it really well now. Some of those videos that I was telling you about that I was watching, they were double coating it and all that. But the, um, the one I'm sort of following the, the um, Ch Chicago Tribune one, they reckon they tried that and it was better single coated so I'm going to try it that way too. If I was really keen I'd do some one way and the others another way but I'm not that, that keen and I don't like a big thick coat anyway so just get a heap on it. The reason why we're not going to get straight into cooking is because part of the process is to leave it once coated sitting for a while so probably another 20 minutes or half an hour so that's um yeah that's why we're not getting straight into the cooking like, I've, like I sort of said earlier and another quick tip that I got I did get off one of those um videos you do you learn, watch and learn every single day um, when you're doing this sort of coating work just use one hand <laughs> especially if you're operating cameras and stuff like that. So you've got one clean camera to switch the on-off button and stuff like that. So anyway, this is uh, going to take a while. That's all there is to this stage. So next time, I'll get back to you at the cooking stage. <laughs> all right. Okie dokie, so back again. Um, yeah, so I've got some oil on to fry that chicken now. I've got my uh, rack set up to, to um, rest it on. Um, I think it's better to leave it on a rack, so you know, I could use paper like towel, toweling, but I think it'll go a bit soggy on that, so I'm just going to leave it sit on that. Um, yeah, I'm having my beer of the day today, um, sort of being Captain Obvious here, is I've decided to go, well I'm go I've got an iconic American takeaway food, so I went for a iconic uh, American beer, Budweiser, uh, I hadn't had it for quite a few years and uh, what can I say, I'm sort of patting myself on the back for that <laughs> it's, but I don't want to be unkind to Budweiser I don't want um, to compare it to Cat's liquid waste product or anything unkind like that but what can I, well best just leave it at that um, anyway let's get on with the cooking that's what, that's what we're here for so yeah the, I've got this oil up the temp so I'm Usual thing with frying, just going to put in a, a few bits at a time. Maybe I can get away with three in this. And I'll just um, cook them away. Um, probably the recipe says drumsticks are, I think, around 15 18 minutes, so I'll fast forward that and get back to you when they're ready. Okie dokie.
Okie dokie, so um, yeah, now it's time for the big big taste. Um, it's all cooked. It looks pretty good. The colour's, the colour's quite nice. It's probably a little bit darker. Maybe, I'll, maybe that's in the cooking process. But anyway, I'm going to taste this now. I was going to be all fancy and make some uh, nice fries and um, I don't know, some coleslaw or something, but I actually just want to taste this, so I'm going to do it right now. Get one of these bits of chicken and get it into my mouth. Mm mm. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to have another bite. That's. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you some feedback in a sec, but I want to have one more bite. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 I've got to be serious here. Two things. Does it taste like Kentucky Fried Chicken? Uh, let's be honest. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's um, no. I don't know. I ate Kentucky Fried Chicken about a week ago. Doesn't taste anything like this. Okay. That's that's the honest truth. But point two, how does it taste? It is absolutely delicious. And um, I was, oh sorry about that. I would eat that over Kentucky Fried Chicken any day of the week. It tastes fantastic. Yum. It's uh, anyway. I sort of started this as just a bit of an experiment, but. Um, Yum, that is so nice. Anyway, I, I want to end this video, it's gone too long as per usual. And I just ask again, can you subscribe if you like this video? Or do something, like it, leave a, com leave a comment, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you next time. Look, I, I realise I've done two uh, fried chicken recipes in a row. I mean, they're different, but... Anyway, next time I promise I'll do something that's not deep fried and uh, something a bit different. Alright, I'll catch you next time guys.